Kanista! Sasha. <laughs> Sasha. Buddy, you wake up, are you okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, very funny, yeah. And you two got anything better to do? I have an incoming message, public frequency, real-time message from Titan City. Person to person, charges pending, only on successful contact. Somebody's on a budget. <laughs> Put it through, Carl. The message is for your father, Dante. Dante? Who's the contact? The name is Mr. Rowan Gerrick. A drug-related murder of one Sasha Garrick, his son. Put it through. Is this the tulip? It is. You're Mr. Garrick. Look, I, I, I thought I made this clear that this was this was person to person with Dante Montana. Yeah, well, he's not here. <sighs> so who are you? My name's Travis. Travis. Yeah. But you were lost. And now I'm found. That's your father's sense of humor. I'm sorry, I have no idea who you are. Oh, uh, my late wife and I were friends of your parents. I held you on the day you were born, Travis. Look, where can I find Dante? 
I'm afraid we don't know. He was lost in hyperspace. Well, I was hoping he could help me. Oh, hell, maybe you can. Um, look, I don't have much money, but I need to find the people who were responsible for murdering my son. Rodolfo's was right. 20,000 credits for a drug case is nuts. Could you repeat that? 20,000 credits. No, 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 no. The first part. I could have sworn I heard you say Rodolfo's right. Yeah, well, 20,000 should just about pay for the shuttle there and back. Look, it's his son. It's all he can afford. Put yourself in his shoes. Drug cases are sinkholes. We shouldn't be taking his money then. So now you're suggesting we do this for free? Make your mind up. So you were born in Titan City. Gonna show me the old neighborhood? Afraid not. Sat in Fed tore down when the Raiders moved in. What's there now? Dunno. Never been back? No. Why not? Look, there's nothing for me to see, okay? Okay. Thanks for sharing. The files you sent said that your son's death was drug-related. Uh, something called an Nista? Nobody had heard of it six months ago. It's a kind of super painkiller. Makes you think you're indestructible. It's extremely dangerous. Obviously. Would you walk with me? There's something, something I'd like you to see. You ever feel like you're wasting your life? Huh? Like the whole universe is just passing you by? You know, when I left the Raiders, I was expecting a better future than this. I thought I was gonna have fun. Adventure, do you know what I mean? Percy, I'm talking to you. What are you two up to? I don't know, wasting our lives. So, Travis and Cully calling? Nope. 20,000 credits. We might as well be delivering mail. I'm gonna get a real job. <laughs> Sasha was a good kid. I mean, there's nothing much going on here on the fringes of Titan City until this, and, and uh, this is new. Look, that's Captain Dalliot. She's the investigating officer in Sasha's death. Looks like she caught another one. How do you know she'd be here? Uh, it's Anise Thoreau. She's always here. So, Derek, how are you doing? Good, good. Uh, Captain Daly, this is uh, Travis Montana, Cali Larcadia. They're bounty hunters. I've hired them on behalf of Sasha. Well, that's certainly your right. I assume you both have credentials. Well, Mr. Garrick, Cali's going to take you back home. Look for it. It might help us know where to start. Sasha and his friend died in a thrill fight. They both took some Anista, beat each other to death. That is the whole story here. Not disputing that. Well, then why are you here? You're preying on their wounds. Mr. Garrick says nobody had heard of Anissa six months ago. Now it's everywhere. And Saturn cops don't seem any closer to busting the people who brought it here. So we must not be doing our job then, huh? Not saying that. Look, I've got 17 Anista related deaths a day here, Mr. Montana. The truth is, we just can't cope. Then tell me how I can help. Caravaggio, scan the files. Scare us up some work, please. At your request. You say everything was normal until a couple of months ago. Less. He changed real quick. It's the drug. Did he have any new friends? Well, not that I know about. Is this Sasha? No, no, no. That was taken before it was born. Uh, that's, uh... <laughs> that's me and Travis. Travis's mother took that. How long have you two been together? Oh, we just worked together. Um, I mean, uh, a couple of months now. So what's he like? Actually, I really don't know him that well. There was a side of Sasha that I didn't know either. What does it do exactly? Anista is basically a euphoric. It scrambles all information to the pain centers of the brain. Like a neuroblock? No, worse. The nerves still work, but the body pumps out massive amounts of dopamine in response to any pain stimulus. 
So the more they injure themselves, the better they feel. Hmm. Attractive proposition. Yeah, so we just keep hearing one name. Bliss, but the dealers are all low-level. None of them know the picture or they buy blind. Well, that could work in our faith. I mean, what you need now is an inside man. Look, I've lost three officers trying to infiltrate the organization. Well, maybe I can help you then. Well, Mr. Garrick doesn't have much money, so he can't be paying you very much. Is it possible to get any copies of any files of the dealers, even the low-level ones, send them onto my ship? Yeah, I could do that. What makes you so sure you could help, though? I have some experience in this area. Yeah, so I've heard. It's a legitimate bounty. The warrant is sworn out and electronically notarized in triplicate. It's a divorce action. If I want to deal with a vindictive, sadistic ex, I've got three of my own to choose from. What are you doing? I'm trying to free us from Travis's bizarre departure into pro bono work. Ring Shepherd Net is relaying a low priority warrant. You mean you're going behind his back? I'm just exploring our other options. How low? Identity theft, New Rio City. The victim is a top barrister and lawyer. <laughs> Good luck to him, I say. I'm afraid there isn't anything else pending. So it looks like we have the time, and uh, it's important to him. Why? He hardly knows them. <laughs> They're friends of his parents, aren't they? Marcus, I'm having trouble enough paying my debts without taking on free work for friends of people I've never even met. Uh, thanks. I'm just trying to keep us out of the poorhouse. Yeah, well, good luck with that. When you're in Mars Forces, you knew Frankel, right? That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Why? But you knew. Yeah, we were both grunts in the anti-drug squad. When I left, he was promoted to head of interdiction. Mars any drug chief? Can you reestablish contact with him? I can, yeah. I mean, he was one of the few who actually backed me, but... Good. I may need him. What for? Just a little something I have in mind. Did you get any new info? From Garrick about your parents? You heard what I heard. Yeah, not a lot. Exactly. Titan City dredge up any old memories? It's changed a lot. The Raiders. How did you know Frankel worked drugs on the Mars Force? The Raiders. Were you involved in the drug trade? I don't understand. I just did a little checking, and I thought you should know. As Travis, it says here that... He was a raider, Mr. Garrick, for years. His family, they all... No. No, they were not his family. His clan, then. They terrorized half of Jupiter. He was kidnapped. And he became one of them. It says drugs here. Are you, are you telling me that he dealt drugs? I'm saying you don't know him, Mr. Garrick. Look, I understand how you feel, and I know you'll clutch at any straw. How can you possibly know how I feel? Because I lost a daughter to drugs, too, Mr. Garrick. And I understand the heartache and the desperation and the need to catch the bad guys, but the way I see it, Travis Montana is one of the bad guys. Cavaggio, secure channel to Franco, Mars Interdiction Division, my quarters. See you on the bridge. Just thought I'd let you know Rodolfo isn't happy. I'm shocked. He's been fishing around for other cases. Is he keeping himself amused? <laughs> for now? Well, then all's right with the world. Oh, well, thanks for the heads up, Marcus. What do you expect me to do with this? Run a spectral analysis, molecular makeup, anything different about this particular batch. See if we can use anything to trace it back to one particular lab. You're not going to find the guy that way. I didn't say I would. 
While I'm being chemical girl, you are... Back on Titan. This is stupid. I don't want to do this. Rudolfo says we're not even being paid. Oh, we're being paid. It's not as much as you'd like. So, uh, you want us to take messages for you while you're out, or what? Look, it's nothing personal. No, no. You just want to go galloping off again on some case where, mm, let me see, the word pittance has a lovely ring, doesn't it? Dead beat downs and lawyers who lost their credit cards. That's the alternative, is it? Yeah, at least they pay. Yeah, well, I had card check the all calls. No bounties pending, so we have time to spare. I just don't like you committing us to a personal job. So take a nap. I'm not even asking you to break a sweat. How are you going to find bliss by yourself? Car, punch up that image. The guy's name is Zerk. I found him in the files. Dalliot sent us. He's an old friend. He's involved with Anista, and he's going to lead me to bliss. You'll need backup. Problem is, Zerk gets a whip. I'm with anyone. I'll go to ground, so I got to go alone. <sighs> Do you know what I think? I think you're trying to please a couple of dead people. You should try it sometime. Steak work pays very well. Carl, give me Saturn message net. Titan sector. Zerk, public key, message. Request to go see. Encode using Varen sequence 449 and post a drop box. Now let's see you jump. Hey. Is that the drug? It is. Overwhelms the pain centers. Don't feel a thing. Sounds dangerous. Indeed. Pain's important. It tells you when you've gone too far. Maybe no pain tells you when you haven't gone far enough. What do you mean? Nothing. Don't be stupid, Percy. Go on. promising career bites the dust. Okay, look. Look, I never crossed you, man, okay? Not me. Everybody else is on the run looking for you, but not me, okay? I I'm gonna live and let live, baby, and that's for real. That's we cool, we cool. <laughs> Relax, sick. <laughs> My man, my man, huh? <laughs> Long time no see. Like old times, maybe? Huh? Sure, why not? Good, good. Because after you went on the run, we heard some crazy things about you. Yeah, ignore that. I'm back in the game, and I'm liking this Anista. Mm. You're going to get me a sit-down with Bliss? <laughs> sure, no problem, buddy. Anything I can do for you. <laughs> Boy, you've been wandering too long. Let's don't meet no one he don't know. Well, we will if you vouch for me. And now why would Zerk vouch for you? Because I can give Bliss Mars big, beautiful, new market, and you, you get to be the man who opened the door. No. No. Mars squeaks. It's so tight, OK? Big red troops are hardcore. That place is a fortress, man. That's it. You know how to get through a fortress? Mm. By the jailer. <laughs> <laughs> you always crazy. You have Franklin in your pocket, the Mars gonna be a whole different place. No life, drug pushing, right up. <sighs> you should have died in that raid. 
Ra raid? What raid? Who is this? Business associate. Thought I told you, Gary. Once a merchandise leaves my hands, it's your problem. I'm gonna smoke this fool. Don't! You're as bad as they are. It might as well have been you that killed Sasha. He's just a crazy old man. If anyone's gonna shoot him, it's gonna be me. Now you turn around and walk out of here right now, or I'm coming after the rest of your family. You come down here when I'm working. You won't be visiting that pretty little wife of yours. Why you always let them walk? You're killing your clientele, that's bad business. Now down, boy. Put that gun down. Now get out of here, walk away. Go! Customer's always right. Just like old times with you. Man, you're crazy. I have an incoming message from Saturn Authority Police. Put it through, Carvaggio. Captain Dalliot. Where's Mr. Montana? He's working the case. Well, he said he'd keep me apprised, and I haven't heard a word from him. He's meeting with an informant now. We've been fully briefed, sir. Help you with anything? Well, I'd like to come aboard, if I may. That'd be lovely. I'll see you soon, then. See ya. What the hell did you say that for? She doesn't know what he's doing. We don't know what he's doing. I'm bored. Where's the harm? Where's the harm? The harm is we're not fully briefed. And she obviously doesn't know anything either. 17 months, they still don't have a picture of Bliss. Well, she can't be any less chatty than Travis. The last thing we need is more people keeping secrets on this ship. Callie, you have an incoming message. A gentleman named Franklin. Put it through, Carvaggio. Callie, I was very surprised to get your message. I guess you'll fill me in when I get there. Wish I knew what to tell you. <coughs> They're fine where they are. Uh, could you hand me the sealer? The, uh, the sealer? The... Marcus, can I have a sec? Uh, yeah, sure. Sorry, Percy. What do you know about Travis's past? Did you ask me an easier one, like uh, the square root of pi? Look, he's playing this one too close. You don't trust him? His motives, yes. His judgment on this. When Travis found me, things were pretty bad. I couldn't talk about it. I didn't want to talk about it. And that was fine. <laughs> he knew just to stick around, to wait. Sometimes it's harder to find someone just to stick around. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I got it. Thanks, Marcus. Percy? Percy? Hey, are you okay? Yes. Ow. I made it very clear to Mr. Montana I want nothing more to do with him. So the contract's cancelled? Absolutely. You're not going to get a single credit from Mr. me. Mr. Garrett, can I just say I'm that... I'm sorry, I have nothing more to say to any of you. End transmission. 20,000 credits gone, and I had a lovely pack of gum picked out. So you don't have a client. You've been terminated off the case, and now you can't raise Travis. Either of you want to tell me what he's up to? 
Well, the word is he's met up with some low-level filth named Zerk. Yeah, well, uh, actually, we don't know anything. Well, rumor has it Montana was uh, a raider once. Raiders controlled most of the drug trade on Jupiter. This Zerk, he was a low-level streeter there. Travis dealt drugs. Zerk made the jump here about eight months back. He got recruited by Bliss, bumped up fast. He is dumb, he is lethal, and loyal. So, like I said, he's working the case. Well, I've been working narcotics 10 years, and I have never seen anything like Anista. It, it cuts across all lines. Is it possible that Mr. Montana has crossed over? No. I spoke out of turn, and I apologize for that. It's, it's just that this one, it hits a little close to home. I lost a daughter to Anista. Once someone starts down that path, you just, you can't stop them. Where are they? With a fool. Of course. Were you hoping you'd get to hide? Be the big, strong man who has to protect me from myself. Oh, be the man. Be the man. OK? Yeah. Oh, Percy, calm down. Calm down. Right. Yeah. Oh. I think you should put me in the brig. So Travis asked you to arrange a meeting with Frankel? On Titan tomorrow. All right, you served with him, didn't you? Yeah. Doesn't mean I always approved of his methods. Well, he's kept a lid on the Mars drug trade. That's an impressive record. Yeah, if you don't mind how it gets done. On Mars, the ends always justify the means. Right. Well, they have a hundred times our personnel and one-tenth the territory. Plus, their anti-drug budget's bigger than the whole ops budget of Saturn Fed. You can make a lot of people disappear with that kind of money. You know, the rumor on Frankel was he cultivated links among raider clans. What are you saying? You make the connection. Hurry. Oh! Get in! come to finish me off? I think you know that's not true. I don't know anything anymore. You almost blew things for me big time back there. You're nothing like him, you know? Your father. Why did you bother to save me back there? You're a man who lost his son. Yeah, that makes you do strange things. Yeah, well... You've got to forgive him, you know. Who? Sasha. But if Frankel knew Travis from before... Frankel was big on favors, owing and being owed. You think Frankel owed Travis one? Possibly. Let's go back. What do you know about Bliss? He's always one step ahead of us. So he's connected? No, more than that. He knows every move we make. My last undercover wound up dead before we even got close. He wasn't even a real threat yet. Plus, he moves around. A lot. He's a movement. Good intel. Doesn't leave a trace. Comes and goes as he pleases. What does that say to you? Someone with consular power, not just criminal. Maybe someone like the Mars anti-drug chief. Ah, this just came in. Your AI should be receiving a file now. I'm showing travel movements for the past six months. Frankel, Mars interdiction, nine trips to Saturn sector. He traveled under an alias we matched it this morning. Why would a diplomat be traveling under an alias? You're saying Frankel is bliss. Is that possible? Yeah, maybe. Well, if, if that's true, then Travis is walking into a trap. 
We get paid up front next time. My father's lost, your son's dead. So right now, I just want to find the people responsible. Why? What's the point? Sasha's dead. Can't change that. No, we can't. It's too late for Sasha. It's too late for me. But it's not too late for this city. And if I find Bliss, you remember me for that. Look, even if Frankel is Bliss, I can't touch him. I mean, not with so little evidence. I have to get back. We've had 14 new and Easter-related deaths as of last night. Travis still isn't responding to Hiles. He doesn't know about Franco. We have to head him off. no time here, so the plan is gonna go ahead. This is where he's supposed to meet Frankel. The Tulip crew will be there. I want them all eliminated. Once Frankel's out of the picture, our operation is gonna enter a very heavy expansion phase. I'm gonna need people I can trust. Understood. If you let me down like Sir did, I won't just stop with you. I'll kill everyone you know. Percy, you okay? I can totally picture tearing you apart. It's the coolest thing. <sighs> My answer's not that. Marcus, where are you? Hmm? <clears throat> uh, mm -hmm. Just doing some maintenance work, why? Rodolfo and I have to go down to Titan. I want you and Percy to prep the break for a possible prisoner transfer. He might be having a guest in a couple of hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, if Travis makes contact, put him straight through. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What should I do? Sedate me. Coordinates for the meeting? Yeah. What's the plan? Are we, we just going to walk in there and say, hello, I think you're bliss? We'll figure out something. If Dahlia's right about Franco, we have to get to Travis first. Let's go.
you live. I'm coming back. Tulip, come in. Great, now come. Perfect. Give it to me now. Come on. Percy, give it now. Give what it the me. hell is going on? Anissa, she's off her head. Yeah, well, I told her not to. Gone for one day. Half the crew's AWOL and Percy's on drugs. Where the hell are Kelly and Rodolfo anyway? They said something about picking up a prisoner. That's all you got. I've been looking after her. What prisoner? I've got no idea. Carl, where have they gone? They're presently off to collect Frankel, I believe. Though your being here might negate that second... Why do they want Frankel? They suspect his bliss. That's insane. Who the hell gave them that idea? Captain Daliat. Why would Daliat think Frankel's bliss? Oh, no, no, no. Carl, don't answer that. Contact Callie and Rodolfo. I need to tell them what's going Can on. someone tell me what's going on? I'm afraid I can't raise. Damn it. All right, prep the shuttle. I'm going back down. You look after her. Not the star attraction in a turkey shoot. Yeah. But you owe me. Not anymore. sent you. Tell you. Just when you thought it was getting boring. Drill flight in progress of Omega and four. Vengeance team to respond. Right this way, gentlemen. Captain's over here. Captain? Gentlemen to see you, Captain. I wouldn't advise it. Well, it took you long enough. You have an excellent cup of tea. Mm, saw an opportunity and I took it. How many lives have you destroyed? It's the way I see it, none. They destroy themselves. I just keep the products of the light going. I have a clear conscience. Oh, I bet you were long and hard on that answer. What about you, Montana? Your conscience clear after your raider days? Far from it. And I don't have a daughter's death to deal with either. Yeah. Well, neither do I. I'll have your cover story, huh? Track team 28, Port Authority Terminal 5. Level 2, drill ride in progress. Pressure teams on alert status. So Dally had had everybody fooled. 
I suppose you must run into that sort of thing a lot, being a bounty hunter. How the hell do you deal with it? Does anyone really deal with it? You just learn to uh, shut it down. Now that's something you inherited from your mother. What were they like? My parents. Oh, they were good people. They had their quirks. Your father was very stubborn. And your mother was, well, she was more stubborn. But they were great. They were fun to be with. They'd go to the ends of the solar system for you. I can't imagine having better friends. Or better parents, for that matter. Oh, hey. That's you, one day old. Now that's alone. You make your own copy. And you drop that back to me when you're on your next visit. Thanks. you back then, Lena. I couldn't stand you, Cal. <laughs> On the next Star Hunter. We're here to buy antimatter stabilizer coils from some black market creep named Plog. That's it. That's all. I wouldn't be moving in on your territory. No, because he's not my territory. Can we get a room? Yeah, sure. I'm having the bed. Get out. I'm... I'm... Ah! Car, locate Travis. Travis is in Miss Bannon's quarters. I think she wants you to strangle him. Oh, you must. 